video is specifically for users who already know what a reporting group in MERS is. If you don't report emissions using reporting groups, then this video will not be useful for you. I'm going to demonstrate how to remove a reporting group from your MERS report. When we move to the new My Enviral Portal system, utilizing the op optional reporting group feature will no longer be available. If you update your 2022 report, it will make your life a lot easier when you start using the new system. Let's begin. I've already logged into the MERS system by entering my username and password. Now we're going to enter the MERS report through the MERS report tab, current year MERS report tab, and view edit next to the SRN that you want to work on. Let's open up the emission unit form. And we have a list of emission units that are on this report, and there are seven of them. Some of them are included in reporting groups and some are not. On the reporting group tab, let's open RG coat. And you can see here that there are three mission units included in RG Coat, EU Coat 1, 2, and 3. On the Activity and Emissions tab, emission units that are part of a reporting group are not listed individually. For your purposes, you could open the RG that you're ready to delete and take a screenshot of the data to be used as a reference later. Now I'm ready to remove my reporting group. We're going to click the X under delete next to the reporting group that we want to remove. The system will ask us if we're sure and we're going to click OK. Then we're going to look at the activity and emissions tab again and we can see now that the individual emission units that were part of that reporting group are now listed here and this is what we want to do going forward. We want to get rid of all of our reporting groups and have all of our emission units show up on the activity and emissions tab. Let's enter the first emission unit, EU Coat 1. We're going to need to add the SCC for this emission unit that we used for our reporting group. And because we took our screenshot earlier, we have all of the data that we need to do that. Scroll down here a little bit. So we're just going to fill in this data like we had on the reporting group, but now it's on the emission unit. We're going to enter the material throughput of 100 tons because we had 300 tons on our reporting group, so it would definitely be a different material throughput for each individual emission unit than it would your reporting group. We're going to save it. We're going to click on the Emissions tab. We're going to use the system to calculate the emissions for us. We're going to tell the system we want to use that value. And we're going to save it. We'll go back to the list. And you can see now that EU Code 1 has a SCC code and a material code and a throughput. And we'll need to do that for all of the emission units that were removed from a reporting group. If you have any questions regarding reporting groups, please email infomares at michigan.gov. Thank you.